Okay, got this grommet for my desk. WDX. There it is. It's passed through USB, so, but I, what I liked about this is it had, not only was it passed through, as opposed to powered for your charging devices, it's passed through to your computer. So you got the dongle here that'll go into your computer so you can have, it is, a, it is basically a hub, but it's also powered. It comes with the adapter. So um, I didn't want to just power and charge devices. I, I needed to save desktop space for my USB devices to my computer. So this should be nice. But I also like that this had a hole here. Um, a couple people said in the reviews that this caused problems with their computer because it was powered, like it wasn't wired right, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm going to test it and see if, if there is, is one of the guy posted a workaround by putting, uh, I don't remember what he said, but he said basically block one of the, the pins. But we'll see guys, I think this looks good. Um, should be good, I'll try it out and show you what it looks like. Two and a quarter, 57 millimeters. I was just checking this uh, to see how close that was. There were also comments about getting the wrong hole saw, but I think this one's gonna be perfect. Okay, so I've got this pass-through USB port. It is powered. It comes with the uh, a power supply here which is really cool. So it can charge whether the computer's on or off. And I do believe it probably powers the USB as well as USB 3.0. But either way, it's gonna be convenient because I don't need high powered stuff on here. Um, and I'm, I've chosen about to do mid desk. I've got, a, I've got a six foot desk here, okay? And this was just a workbench from, my, from a Home Depot, one of these Husky desks and I, I've put in you know, this keyboard mouse tray underneath the desk and I've got a pencil tray here and I'm just trying to get more things clear so I can have surface area so I can do little projects on here and stuff. But um, what I like about this is it'll, it'll seat closely here um, right behind my monitor ideally. Now the cord's not very long, you can see here, but it's long enough and if I have to buy an extension, I can, but I won't need to. It'll it'll be it'll it'll go straight down and then come up into the back of that PC right there. That's an Alienware Alpha R2. Um, I've had that for years, and I love it, by the way. But anyway, um, that'll just give me more space here. So I have two port, two, SU, two USB ports in the back and two USB in the front. I like to keep these clear. Only for if I have peripherals or SD cards or something I need to throw in there. But I like to keep it clear. So that, that way I'll have, I'll be able to put the, the camera and, um, you know, any other things. If I need to charge my phone or whatever, uh, Wacom tablet, um, things of that nature. And they won't have to mess up my desk. I won't have to fiddle with the computer. So... I won't even need this wireless charger anymore. Um, so anyway, I plugged it in just a second ago. It does have a little LED right there, by the way. But I plugged in the computer and I plugged the power in. I plugged my phone in, plugged the camera and everything was working fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the hole and install this. Almost positive this two and a quarter inch. It's gonna do the job, 57 millimeters. And when you bring it up here, um, let me see here. I mean, that's this, that's pretty much usually standard grommet size. This didn't come with any instructions, but let me check some. So that almost looks perfect. I think it's going to be like. A couple millimeters too small. I probably actually might be just a perfect fit. I um, what I did here is just I bent the cable just a little bit so I could fit it inside to see what it looks like there. 
And I'm pretty sure that's a standard size, two and a quarter inch for a grommet. You know, if anything, if it was too small, that's better than too big. But I can always drill this and wiggle a little bit if I need to make this make the hole a little bigger. I am going through a lot of wood here. So I'm going to pop that hole in in the back right now and give you guys a look. Okay, throw that box into there. I have a little less mess. And okay, it's right under there, right to there. Let's see. Yeah, just about perfect. Not quite there yet, but I got a little hole. I'm going to drill from underneath so I can not blow it out. Success. Most of it's in there. Came from the other side, so I didn't blow it out. Now I'm just going to clean it up and test the grommet. One hand recording guys, doing my best. Let's see how close we got. Yeah, it's gonna be tight. But, I might have to drill it out just a little bit more. Ah, uh, dang. Needs a little more room. You guys can see why I didn't go 64. That's the next one up. It would be floating in there and I just don't want it to float. I think I'm going to try and wedge it in there. It was cheap enough that if I ever have to remove it, which I don't plan on removing it. If I do though, I could kind of tap it out with a little mallet really softly. But I'm going to lube it up and try and jam it in there because it's so, so close. Yeah, because that's 64. The one I used is 57. So we're seven, we're seven millimeters off, okay? Think about that. Not one direction, all the way around, right? And this is too tight and that one's way too loose. So it was probably good, it was probably gonna need to be 60, 60 instead of 64. I'm 57. Plus I did a little, I'm probably at 58. So I'm probably like two millimeters off. So if I, if I Vaseline this sucker, plus the wood's still, well, it's not hot anymore. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna put some lube on this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put some Vaseline down there too. But you know, as soon as you lubricate wood, it's just gonna swell, so I gotta be fast about this. Here we go. Is that gonna make a difference? <laughs> Not really, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, dang it. It ain't gonna work, but I guarantee you guys are entertained right now. So I'm gonna keep working on it. Okay, I ended up just buying a 60 millimeter on Amazon, okay? It's gonna take, it's 60, so like I said, they started off with 57, this one's 64, and it didn't come with instructions. So I think 60 will do it, especially since you know when you cut, it doesn't always cut exact with wood. It, it wobbles a little bit, so it'll probably be just right at 60. And then I'll, I'll, I'll use this existing plug, hopefully. I can use that to center it. Hope, I hope We'll see, and I, I might have to stick some tape around that and center it and redrill. So I'll finish this video later. I usually don't like to edit videos, but I'm going to have to on this one. So talk to you soon, guys. Okay, got the new... Got a new bit here. This is what we got here. Two and five sixteenths, so 59 millimeters. 
And I got this just to have it. This is a 60 millimeter. And again, the other day I cut with this 57. Too small. 60 I've heard online makes it too big. So I'm going with 59. Hopefully that's just right. So I'm gonna just use this hopefully as my existing hole. Put some tape in here so it won't move too much. Need this a little bit more. Do a few of these, see if I can get enough. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll give me enough grip now. Maybe one more. Yeah, nice and taut. There we go. That should be a good fit to drill from. Yeah, that should be enough, hopefully, to widen it up. Keep within the same hole, but it's gonna make it a little wider. Let's give it a shot. Widened it just a little bit. We'll see if that's enough. Oh, <laughs> perfect fit. It's a nice change. So now I've got my uh, keyboard and mouse plugged in. So I've got the camera. Sorry guys, got the camera back here and the, uh, let's see here, camera and the keyboard. I got back there the mouse and the this unit here. Um, I did that wrong. Okay, sweet. Everything's set up. I just love how this is clear. Look, I've got two spare U two spare USBs here now. Okay, three point I can also charge a phone there if I want to. I've got two free USBs here in the front. I've still got the USB on the bottom if I want to do wireless. So. But, but it's cleared my desk space a lot, so I can keep this wherever I want it, have all that desk space. And having the keyboard underneath now, just the setup's so much nicer. Really happy about that. But now I got this, whenever I want to use it, I can just plug it straight in over here, over here. Really clean. So, um, that worked out. So now you guys know the right bit for that dongle. Very happy with the way it's working. Computer started up with no problem. Um, some people had noticed that that wasn't um, wasn't the situation for them. So this is going to be great, guys. Very happy with the how clean that looks. So over and out. Have a good one.